Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Solutions Brewing Podcast. Uh, my name is Stephen Sock, and I'm joined today by Rob. No, Brendan, because I think he forgot it was Valentine's Day, and he's probably doing something for his sweetie. But uh, what that, a chump. What a chump. <laughs> I, I already got chocolate, chips, because she wanted some chips for dipping, and cooked uh, an amazing uh, fish dinner tonight. So I honestly wouldn't have even known there was more or Valentine's Day if, if it wasn't for all the stuff on social media with these posts for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I would have no idea. I wouldn't even know. Yeah, I. Uh, it, it was funny because um, I was missing... I, I, I did some smashed potatoes as well. So I was like, I actually don't have any anything that's like small potato wish to, to do this with so i went to the the local grocery store to grab just a, a bag of fingerling potatoes or you know baby potatoes and the line of guys who were like last minute getting flowers <laughs> was just amazing like it was seriously like eight people deep and then i like went around did my shop and came back still eight deep like it was just <laughs> constantly replenishing itself as they bought out so so uh, at least they remembered <laughs> yeah indeed but um i'm gonna say for our topic today uh we have returned from jasper beer fest 2024 our our now it's almost a tradition our now yearly excursion into the mountains for uh for drinks and food and shenanigans so yeah so let's uh let's uh start us off rob how uh how was the drive down compared to a couple years ago <laughs> Way better. <laughs> Roads were like mostly, I mean, they were partially covered, but they weren't like layer of ice like it was in uh, the last time I went, which was yeah. made the made the drive a lot shorter <laughs> and enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it was it was funny because we were debating last week. We were at, we had our business meeting, so we're looking at you know what the weather conditions are, and we're like, okay, it's a couple days before we have to leave. It shows it's like yellow and red. Oh no, sort of thing. Like, what what does that mean? Because of course, there's no cameras to cross reference that at all. Like, what does it actually look like? Not not on that section of highway. No. No. So we're like, okay, it'll be fine. So we we pull up. You know, we we load up and we head out to Lake Louise and we get onto the road. And they've got those massive yellow signs that basically says what the road conditions are. And so we're not even in fair territory according to them we're in poor territory it's a double yellow mm -hmm. and it's like okay i hope like i hope it's not too bad turns out um mostly bare pavement or at least like bare ruts in between all the snow and like maybe five percent of it was like a little slick like a, a tiny bit slick yeah more like the shadier areas like for the where the road kind of dips down and the trees provide more shade then those those they're like so creative like there were icy sections for sure but they weren't like kilometers long um mm -hmm. yeah like taking it easy was... around some of the corners that was i mean really wasn't that bad it was a good drive yeah <laughs> and coming back was well, even better oh yeah even coming back we we made such good time because like we were a like one of three people that we found on the road that day actually actively driving um we got passed by them because we weren't going fast enough mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, we're definitely not going 90 and you just passed us. So, all right then. Yeah. Don't um, tell the cops, but we were like, we were definitely speeding and then people were past, still passing us. So yeah, was which crazy, was insane. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like we made very good time back, like insanely good time, like summer weather, good time uh, back. So yeah, it was, we made such good time that, Brent, when we when we all got when we all got back at at the shop there out by Cochrane, I actually ended up driving home. I got all the way home and then realized I forgot my bag in Brendan's truck. <laughs> I phoned him and asked him if he was still there. He left my bag there, and then I drove back. And so I did a couple trip. I did like, I did, oh wow, I did a little bit back and forth there. Which <laughs> so basically, I added an, added an hour and a half to my trip because of uh, uh, just because of turnaround and, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is fine whatever shit happens so to speak um, yeah and yeah it was nice out <laughs> so yeah. it wasn't that bad it wasn't, wasn't like i was trying to do it in a blizzard or something yeah it was a great warm day and like 
you know, and just heading back to like, you know, the, the road was wet in areas just because it was that warm and it was melting the snow and all that. Like it was, yep. it was fantastic. So yeah, compared to two years ago where all three of us took separate vehicles and traveled out at different times a day and ice was at least like two th- inches thick on like 60% of the road, way, way better travels this time. Yeah. Anyways, that's the drive, but the show itself, um, Mm-hmm. I think we say this every time, and this is always this one has been our favorite one so far. Because uh, oh yeah, um, one you don't have to worry about tickets. So for people who, for customers who have paid to be part of this, everything's inclusive. Mm-hmm. Like, so you get you get accommodations, you get food, and you get beverages. Yeah, well, well, the accommodations it depends if you get the full package or you, but even if you just get like the ticket to the show. It, the ticket's like all food and all drink included, which exactly. is yeah. amazing. So, well, it's kind of nice because then, one, we don't have to worry about collecting them. We don't have to be like, oh, sorry, two tickets before you give them your beer. Um, yeah. And then people don't have to feel guarded about them. Like if they want to try a beer, they just try a beer because there's no additional consequence other than whether they maybe they won't like it or something like that. Yeah. Like the amount of half pours or like quarter pours I did, it's way... Even though the show is way, way smaller, I do way more of the, at these show because like someone's like, oh, I don't know if I like it. I'm like, I, I've got a dump bucket here and you ain't you and I ain't paying for this. Well, technically we're paying for it. It's <laughs> But I mean, but... like it's like it's zero risk for them. Right. Because and and a lot of them were like, oh, no, I want to try everybody. So they like some people were even just saying, just give me a half one, like a half sample. Yeah. They just want to have they just wanted to taste it and they wanted to be able to go to the next one and try another one. Yeah. And it, it, it worked out really well just because like the like there's a few people like it's like uh, we were saying like we had our experimental red uh, that we had, we had taken out. So it was nice to can and all that. And, you know, and I was I was saying like, hey, like it, this is like we haven't debuted this yet. Like it's in our custom sleeved cans that we literally write a Sharpie on mm-hmm. because <laughs> it doesn't. Like it, it doesn't have an official name or anything yet. Uh, yet, um, let's see what it does. And people were like, "Oh, I'll try a little bit of it." And then people came back for, "Was like, hey, did you like it? Do you want a full pour?" Absolutely. And then you fill it up, and off they went. And sometimes they came back for a second one. It was, it was, it was great. Yeah, yeah. People really mm-hmm. liked that one. I think it was, uh, it was the right place for it because it was a maltier beer. Um, mm-hmm. it was very hoppy, so it was like kind of it has this like nice caramel finish to it too. So uh, yeah, pretty... it's uh, it speaks well to our root beers, which were uh, are all multi multi based, and this is uh, following in the steps. Though it is more of a pale ale than uh, than anything else. Well, it's a, it's a red, it's a red, it's a red I, ale. No, I just say it's more of a classic red ale. Classic red ale. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we we were finally wise this year because again me and Brendan made this mistake last year. Uh, we actually ate at the show this year, which is a big, big step up. <laughs> Instead of eating the delicious food in Jasper at a restaurant or a pub or anything like that, we went to the Fairmont and ate their food, which is very, very good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was very tasty. And actually the staff even came up. They're like, hey, it's quiet now. You guys should go get some food before it gets busy. And yeah, like, oh, okay. Because normally, you know, you want to be you want to make sure there's enough food for everybody, but it, which is stupid because the hotel makes sure there's enough food for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of food, uh, way more well, than enough. Well, like we, we used, like, it was just cause of timing and all that kind of stuff. We'd get weird with our time or mm. uh, we're like, Oh, I'm hungry now. I want to grab like something like before I go up to the show, but then we go up to the show, weren't hungry, got busy and then never ate some of the food. So like last year we missed five, five kinds of bacon, which is silly. We should have, I should have went and had five kinds of bacon and I didn't. <laughs> so this year it was nice. Yeah. Like the staff if it was me. I would have made room for that bacon, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but this year, like we definitely made the effort to go do it. Like, you know, I brought plates to the, the table. We're like, well, no, this is stupid. After finishing the whole plate and being like, no, let's take turns. Like it's again, not that busy. Yeah. One person can man the booth at at a time. Yeah. yeah, One person go do it and then I'll go do it. So I had two plates of food and I like, I felt like I was overstuffed that, that, that I did that to myself. I willingly, because it was that good (laughs) of food. Cause like they had that, 
uh, that Southwest chicken sandwich. Like I, I still dream. It's been a couple of days. I still think about that Southwest chicken. Oh, sandwich. dude, like, the desserts were amazing. I love the desserts. The cake. Yeah. Oh my god, the cakes. And like they didn't, they didn't have the five kinds of bacon at this particular evening, but they had four kinds of sausage, which yes. was as good. <laughs> yes, and they were all delicious. Yeah. So like a after doing like doing all of that, and then like coming back to the to the booth, and then like you know later in the night because the music was going to be, we were jumping around for a little bit because it was like 90s 2000s dance pop music sort of thing it and like, i actually it was like listening to much music from the 1990s is yeah it was good yeah, for it us was it was like it's in our age group so <laughs> rob, rob we're, we're the target demographic yeah nowadays. totally <laughs> <laughs> but and like I, I felt like awful i was like i can feel just like Ugh, my stomach like just pulling down with all the weight of all the food in it which is like <laughs> no that, that was a mistake <laughs> yeah i enjoyed it so uh this year we also learned from now i anyone who was paying attention from previous episodes or listened to us last year would know that i wasn't able to make it last year but mm -hmm. brendan and steve made a mistake in terms of some after party options um mm -hmm. so this time we were prepared and <laughs> since we only needed two people to work on a, on a night, we had two of us working a booth and our third person uh, got us a place or got a table basically. And we were able to get in. Um, now this is weird for me because I've never seen this happen before. Oh um, yeah. The place to go in Jasper on a Friday is the on Legion. On a Friday night. <laughs> on a Friday night is the Legion. <laughs> they have a jam night and everyone who played was actually really good. Yeah. Like, it, very very good holy yeah, they, crap the, the, like the, everyone sounded good the the music was great the instruments were awesome oh, this place has pool tables dartboards uh they had some pinball machines foosball foosball um yeah it was it was, it was a great it was a great place to hang out they have craft they have craft beer on tap there it's insane <laughs> i've never seen well, a legion it, do that before yeah it, it was uh like they had uh, some of the beers. They it's from I'm trying to remember. It's a it's the town just or the village just over in on the BC side of the border. They import some of their stuff from. Uh, that was the Ram's Head Red Ale. I'm trying to remember what brewery it's it, it is. Failmont. Failmont. There we go. Um, but they actually had some Calgary beers. So like um, 88 Brewing was there, and I think they had Dandy as well. Uh, no, that was that was no. somewhere else. No. But the Legion had like Jasper beer. They had um, Folding Mountain. They had some other like just local beers and all that. So, you know, Brendan's got us a table and a, and a good spot too. Um, and yeah, we basically me and Rob show it in. It's like okay, like we're actually getting in this time. Like there's no wait or anything like that. We got there late enough um, after the show, and yeah, like we we got good music for like hour and a half hour like it, it was a decently long time yeah yeah and then you <laughs> and it was funny the the table right beside us uh they were the second band we heard so we like we sat we sat down and they were just like these old farts beside us or whatever so it's like oh yeah they're just enjoying the beers and all that that's fine and then like the four piece that was on there of you know 30 somethings they finished up and all that so i go good and then these these old guys get up and it's like oh they're going to the bathroom or something like that nope they went right up on stage and took out like it was house instruments so they basically took it out you know got all ready and started playing it was awesome <laughs> yeah yeah it was really good so, yeah the, the the bassist who was also the singer who also ran through the crowd with the wireless uh yeah yeah wireless bass while playing like, yeah, yeah yeah people get really into it there it was it was, it was really fun to watch <laughs> Yeah, so like we we left there at like it was after one. Oh yeah, it was like one or one thirty by the time we walked out of there. Like it was, it was late. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. And uh, we have this running joke in Jasper that everything's only two blocks away. Uh, oh yeah, because Brendan can't tell distance. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, every time we're going, like, how far away is it? Two blocks. Two blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and and this started because. When we first got there, we were going to grab a, a drink. It's like, oh, we could grab one from the Jasper Brewing Company or from the Dead Dog. 
and those are not like it's it's down the main strip, but they're like it's a short walk, but they're not two blocks away. So Brennan parked and was like, "Okay, it's only like two blocks." And then after walking for like nearly ten minutes, it's like, "Oh, is it only two blocks, Brennan?" Well, it's just <laughs> another two fucking blocks. And that just became the running joke the entire weekend right, is yeah. that <laughs> how, how far is anything? It's two blocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, if uh, anyone's ever in Jasper, even if it's not for beer fest, uh, if it's a Friday night, go to the Legion. Mm-hmm. Um, any other night, I'd say you got the, the Jasper Bruco, which is a pretty good place mm-hmm. or dead dog. That's D E D dog. Um, those are, our, the... those are by far the top three. In our opinion, anyway. Yeah. No, it was... Uh, well, I'll, we'll get to it on the second night, but yeah, like, we, we had a great first night. We had a great, like, a great response with our new beer. People loved us and that sort of thing. Uh, we ran out of stickers the first night. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. We did. We actually, we did try to get some more before the show. We weren't able to get any printed out, but... Yeah, not it wasn't in time. But uh, we had another Valentine, and we like went through a whole bunch of the valentines uh okay my cat's attacking me (laughs) uh but yeah we went through our valentines and our our new one based on our new beer our friends night out and yeah it was a great first day and i got to sleep in which is awesome (laughs) (laughs) no no child running around throwing things or stomping or god knows what else he's doing so it was uh it was it was great. I got I got to sleep until like ten o'clock or something or nine thirty. It's like nine thirty. So my God, <laughs> it's almost full eight hours. That's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, so how was day two then, there, Rob? I was gonna say it's kind of pretty much more of the same. It's actually the the second like I was the only one that worked both nights, the Friday and the Saturday. Um, mm-hmm. the Saturday was actually quieter, um, and I think it's because it was a lot of the same people from. Friday, like a lot of people did the whole weekend uh, yeah. experience. And um, people got a little rowdy on Friday. So I think they were probably a little, a little bit more, uh, <laughs> a little more mellow uh, for Saturday, uh, mm-hmm. especially since I guess because people would be driving. A lot of people there were there were from Edmonton. Um, so it's not, you know, not a short drive. It's not a totally long drive either, but still need to. It, it, it's, it's a bit of a drive. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same, probably similar music, uh, or they had the hockey games on. So we were able to like watch them. <laughs> yeah. Since Saturday was hockey night, like there was so was, much like, hockey, hockey day, going on. Yeah, there was, there was hockey started at like 11 in the afternoon or 11 in the morning, in the morning. 11 AM well, and, and it was going till whatever. Well, well, that's what happened with us is that we, we got up in the morning and we're walking down cause we were like. Where, where should we go for breakfast? And there's a, a diner and a few other little spots, but we we went to Jasper Waffle Auto, where oh, yeah, 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 that was a good that was a good breakfast place. Yeah, where two of us did not get waffles at the Waffle Auto. <laughs> <laughs> we just got normal breakfast. It was good breakfast though. It was good. Breakfast. It was great breakfast. Uh, but we was, walked by the Jasper Brewing Company and they were closed because they don't open until like eleven thirty ish. And we're like, ah, we'll we'll catch them on the way back. And sure enough, we got in there and we started watching the Flames game. So we watched that to its entirety and then tried to tried to get back to our own place, uh, our Airbnb that we had got distracted by another bar restaurant and stopped in there for a couple pints mm-hmm. <laughs> and then eventually made our way back to the Airbnb. But uh, yeah, like there was like four Canadian hockey games that day, plus like a, a few more American ones. Like it was. Well, there's crazy. a lot of games. Yeah. 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 It's good times, though. Mm-hmm. And then we uh, kind of finished out the night. Oh, th- oh, this was funny. Uh, so at the end of the show, because uh, we are we made the decision to leave early in the morning. So we're like, oh, instead of going back to the Fairmont on the Sunday morning, grabbing our stuff and heading out, we're just going to leave straight from the Airbnb. Let's grab all the stuff from the night before. So I didn't know how tired you guys were going to be. So I said, you know, basically, hey, let me know. And you're like, I was like, okay, yeah, let's go for one drink. And I was like, okay, let's, I'll, we'll meet at the dead dog. And my timing was perfect. So I walked from the Airbnb to the dead dog, like after I messaged you guys. And 
you guys basically walked in and didn't see me. I was walking out the street. Right, yeah. I, was like, I was less than 50 feet. And I would have just followed you guys in until you guys found a table. I just was going to follow you until one of you guys noticed me. But we ran into people from the show right at the beginning of the dead dog. So you guys stopped. And I was right behind Brendan, but I basically stopped way too close to him. So he kind of noticed, like, it's like someone close to me. And then all of a sudden, it's just me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's just like, ah. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't see me? No, I didn't see you. But uh, yeah, you, you actually had a, a decent chat with those people. And uh, they, got, they got a little bonus as a result. Uh, yeah, so it turns out I didn't actually know this at the time. But um, they were part of a, a group. So there's, there's two of them. Uh, they're called uh, Sociable Sisters Bartending, or that's their handle on Instagram. Oh, okay. Um, so I didn't know that until we got back, and then because then I saw the, um, then I noticed the messages, and I was reading them. I was like, "Oh crap!" Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, cause, I mean, that one, that one was interesting because we actually I bumped into one of them, uh, or one of them recognized recognized me when we were at the Legion on Friday night, and we're just and we're chatting. <laughs> And mm-hmm. uh, I said, "Oh, were you were there today?" And like, "No, no, no." And then um, she said, they, "She only had the tickets for the Saturday night." So she did stop by the booth. We chatted a bit on on uh, Saturday, mm-hmm. and then uh, yeah, when we wrapped up, went to Dead Dog. We bumped into them plus the rest of their f- friends that, mm-hmm. that they were taken along with, and we ended up chatting some more. That's that's how we got distracted and didn't notice <laughs> that Steve was right behind us. Yep, sneaky Steve. Yeah, and then uh, and then we were leaving. You know what? They said that they had, when they were there, they said that the the Missy Peace Blonde was their favorite beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I we had we had a few extras and uh, yeah, I gave them a couple four packs. Yeah, because well, the the truck was parked right outside the yeah, we were literally parked pub. outside the door. So and they were leaving anyway, so it's like all right, here yeah. you go. Yeah, thanks for liking it, and see you later. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. Like, uh, and it was kind of nice, for, like, yeah, I was going to say, you worked both nights. And so both me and Brennan got to have, like, just a, a little downtime before, like, be- between when you guys, when the show started and when the show wrapped. So both me and Brennan, <laughs> and, like, got some food and had a nap. Hmm. It was awesome. I watched American Pickers, which I haven't watched in, I, I haven't had cable TV in years, so I don't watch that show. But it uh, the Airbnb had it, so it was like, oh, I'll throw it on. I ate an entire hot and ready pizza, had a beer, and then took a nap. I was like sublime bliss. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, actually, you know what? I'd be curious to know uh, if anyone has been to multiple beer festivals, uh, specifically Jasper, and then any other one. Uh, like if got, anyone's been to like the Revelstoke one or yeah, you know, Revelstoke you know, or, Banff or yeah, or the Calgary Edmonton, um, because we haven't done Revelstoke or Banff, so I'm kind of curious to know if someone's been to those, and and has any uh, like thoughts about those compared to like, other shows, because um, mm-hmm. Calgary and Edmonton are the two biggest ones, but they're they're mostly the same. It's big convention center booth, yeah, flinging beers like it's it's not. It, 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 they're bog standard at this point. Yeah. So I don't know. So, I'm yeah, kind of curious to know. So if anyone's out there and wants to let us know, please, uh, please contact us either by email at no problems at solutionsbrewing.com or you can hit us up on our website with their contact us, which also sends us a message to that email. Hey, cool. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, or you can hit us up on Instagram at solutions brewing co. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we'd like to hear what your thoughts are. That'd be great. And uh, and what what about if they want to talk to us on Instagram or uh, Facebook? I said that one already. At oh, Solutions okay. Brunco. Yeah. At Solutions Brunco. Yeah. You so use your ears, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got distracted. I, I had a buzz happen. So uh, yes, that's actually Brendan messaging uh, as we're finishing up that he forgot about the call. So yeah, you know, it's all good. You yeah, Brendan. Yeah. So, <laughs> Brendan, Brendan will have to do the intro outro next time. <laughs> yeah, as punishment. But uh, since since you were away for a year and then you've come back, uh, so Jasper is still your your favorite uh, your favorite show? Yes. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. It's, it just feels more casual, more intimate. It's it's great. I love it. But plus, it's a nice like 
we we don't make anything off of it. Like it's just pure <laughs> marketing. That's all it is. That's fine. But there's nothing but, wrong with like, that. But we enjoy ourselves so much on the trip. Like yeah, you know, going like us just sitting at Jasper Beerco and just like drinking beers and watching the game and shooting shit about. Yeah, this time it's just us three guys, so we're just telling <laughs> stupid jokes to each other and having beers the whole time. So <laughs> it was a good time. It was like it was like a dude's weekend. So yeah, it was awesome. Or or like when we were driving back from the dead dog and we ran, we had the elk incident, where we had the herd of elk going through town. Oh, that's right. And then yeah. and then we were just like we were waiting for all the elk to go by before we could go. Yeah, there and... were more elk than traffic in Jasper. Just a heads, a heads up. True. <laughs> and it was. Uh, they're like, hey, Renan's like, hey, we should uh, we should try to sell some beers to the Elks before we go. And I was like, Renan, I am not losing my liquor license to selling beer to an underage Elk. No way, no how. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of them is like uh, an AGLC like liquor agent in yeah, a yeah, very, yeah. We were very convincing like in a suit, in the Elk suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, no, it was uh, no, it was a great trip, and yeah, like we're gonna go back next year because it, it's nice to get away. It's nice to thing like the Airbnb we like we've stayed at again. Like it it meets our needs perfectly. Like you get coffee in the morning, and it's a bed to rest. It's it's amazing. So yeah. so yeah, look for us next year in Jasper. Come join us. It'll yep. be super fun. Next one will be in Edmonton. So if anyone's in Edmonton, come check us out. Yeah, that is a month away. Four weeks, I think, actually. Uh, yeah, four, four and a bit. Pretty close. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next time. Take we'll care. talk to you next time.